Hello my beautiful fellow Scorpios and uh, welcome to your March 2021 love reading. It's been a while, <laughs> it feels like. Um, I've already done a pre-shuffle, uh, just a quick one. And from what I can see, we have a decision to make this month. We have fork in the road. Then we have flexible and then we have new life. Okay, so um, obviously this is a decision. But we might need to give a little. We might, um, you know, as a fixed sign, Scorpio, we might have a very rigid um, vision of what we want. But Spirit is asking you to kind of um, be open-minded, maybe hear someone out, and then make your decision. And um, I'm liking it. I'm liking the result, I'm liking the outcome. This card here, new life. I'm getting the Ace of Swords as a really strong universal energy at the moment. Kind of makes sense because March is, it's a very fortuitous month for everybody. We've got no planets in retrograde. Um, I'm just getting a really good vibe for March. So, you know, that applies to Scorpio as well, but I'm definitely seeing a new beginning. Not only do I feel is this uh, kind of like the Ace of Swords, but I'm getting Ace of Cups energy here. So if you've been going through a rather tumultuous time, you can expect more peace moving into March, okay? But you are going to need to be a little bit flexible, all right? So that's what I'm getting from the pre-shuffle. Let's have a look at who you're dealing with, Scorpio. Angels and Spirit, who is Scorpio dealing with in the month of March 2021 in love? Who is Scorpio dealing with in love? What is their dominant energy? How do they feel towards Scorpio? And, you know, what is their general disposition? Who is this person that Scorpio is interested in romantically in March 2021, please? Okay. Yeah, I was getting the sense that this person has been passive or they've been holding their ground or not making any move. And the, the card that came out was the Four of Swords. So someone who's taken some time out to reflect, to recover, to heal, to gain a sense of things, you know, to contemplate. Um, this is a very contemplative energy. Um, you could be dealing with uh, an earth sign. I've also got a lot of air here as well. Okay, so, you know, obviously the four of swords is an air sign. But next to it, we have the king of pentacles. So, um, you know, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Whatever the case may be, um, I feel like this person has been trying to restore a sense of stability in their lives you know the king of pentacles is about stability um it doesn't have to be material it doesn't have to be financial even though he's holding a coin but i feel like this person is trying to regain a sense of stability in their lives okay they're trying to get it together is the feeling that i'm getting okay um and i feel like once upon a time they were very much up in their head maybe overthinking things maybe stuck because we have the nine of swords in the reverse, but I feel like they're, they're getting through their inner demons. They're working through their fears and anxieties and they're no longer losing sleep over whatever happened between the two of you or whatever's going on in their life. Okay. So they're, they are achieving a sense of mental peace. Um, and maybe it just took a, a time out, you know, maybe it just took them, um, taking some space away from the noise, okay? Um, I do feel like this person is a little bit stubborn and that might be why you're going to need to kind of give a little with this flexible card, okay? I'm getting stubborn from the Seven of Wands. This person is holding their ground. They're standing their ground. They're not budging on something um, and they might be coming off as quite defensive, okay? Um, I'm getting that 
definitely stubbornness because it's come out next to the four of pentacles you can see how this person is clinging on tightly um, to those coins okay so they're holding on to you know maybe um a belief uh, they're holding on to their values they're holding on to their standpoint their opinion their stance you know that they're not really um making any forward movement but then there is does that make sense so they they might, might have um come to some kind of realization in this four of swords and you know they were so adamant here there's a breakthrough because we have the six of wands um yeah that's interesting the six of wands is obviously a card about winning it's a card about victory but it's also a card about returning making a return making a comeback interesting interesting we have the four of cups in the reverse so i feel like they're no longer in that sulky kind of energy you know um i, I kind of see the four of cups as a little bit sulky this person is choosing to dwell on the negative and they're kind of oblivious to that cup being offered to them right and because it's in the reverse i feel like they are overcoming their fears their doubts their sulkiness and let me just see what else we can get here someone's facing you in the cards for some reason i'm getting the scorpio as the queen of swords um I'm getting that this person may not know quite how to approach you after this period of this standoff, this great Mexican standoff. Reason being is because this person looks like they're trying to approach you, you being the Queen of Swords. Because sometimes the Scorpio can be, you know, they're quite harsh sometimes. They're, they know what they want and they don't beat around the bush. So that's why sometimes we can be seen or regarded as like sharp, as sharp as the Queen of Swords. So this is the person and they're not really sure how to approach you. And then on the other side of the Queen, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Interesting. They're la lacking some courage here with the Strength card in the reverse. But they do want change. They do want movement with this Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. That's what I'm getting from that little spread. Let's see how they're feeling towards you, Scorpio. I'm going to use some oracles as well. Angels and Spirit, how is this person feeling towards Scorpio in March 2021? How is this person feeling? How is Scorpio's person of interest feeling towards Scorpio in March 2021? Again, I'm seeing that Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, again, we have the strength card in the reverse, so they're lacking a bit of courage. Um, yeah, there it is again, the knight of pentacles in the reverse and the hanged man. So I feel like they're waiting for an opportunity to throw you a bone. Six of pentacles. You know, it's a card about generosity and you can see how... He's, you know, throwing coins to the beggar. So I feel like they want to give you something. They want to offer something. Could be communication. But they're feeling burdened. They're feeling a little bit stressed. That's what I'm getting here with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. They're stressed about how to approach you. 
And that's why there's been a delay, all right? They're scared of getting burnt, the sun card in the reverse. I feel like they also want to know something before they make a move. They want to know maybe if you have met someone new because the sun in the upright position represents new love for me anyway. I feel like they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want long-term stability, but they don't know how to initiate this ace, initiate this new beginning. They don't really, um, they're scared about opening up their heart is what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So they're watching you intently. I feel like they're waiting for the right moment. They're waiting for the right opportunity. Look, it's like they're trying to release themselves from fear and anxiety, Eight of Swords in the reverse, in order to reunite and reconnect with you. Look, it's like progress has come to a grinding halt, Chariot in the reverse. They're not really sure how to bring momentum into this connection and how to approach. They don't like feeling that lack of control over the situation is what I'm getting, okay? So I'm getting with the eight of wands in the reverse, delayed communication. Look, this is them feeling nervous, guarded. They're on guard, okay? But they definitely want a second chance here. We have the judgment card in the upright position. I'm getting all the same messages. They want to transform this connection. They want a brand new beginning after an ending has occurred, but Page of Pentacles, much like the Knight of Pentacles, both in the reverse, they don't know how to initiate is what I'm getting here, okay? Yeah. See how these people have their backs to each other? I feel like there's been a battle in the recent past but time has kind of brought some healing with this wheel of fortune and we have the star which is a card about healing and this isn't over yet we have the ten of swords in the reverse we have some music there we go um the music just replayed as i said that you know it's not the end of this symphony it's it hasn't come to a conclusion. It's not over until the fat lady sings. Sorry about all the music puns. Okay, let's see what these little oracles have to say. Angels and spirit, what can Scorpio expect in March 2021, please? And it stopped again. There you go. The butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing and growth. Okay, great. Isn't that interesting with that music? One more card, please, to represent Scorpio's love life in March 2021. Okay, here we go. And we have mirror, mirroring each other, relationships reflecting our wounds, you know, as an opportunity for introspection. All right, there's a need to stop the pattern. There's a need um, to have a fresh, clean slate is what I'm getting with the axe, okay? Yeah, nice, it's, it's looking good. All right, let's have a look at these babies. Angels and Spirit, show me what are the dominant energies and events happening in Scorpio's love life in March 2021, please. The dominant energies and events, circumstances surrounding Scorpio in love in March 2021. Oh no, we're going to have to go into part two. 